I to the world am like a drop of water That in the ocean seeks another drop. ACT I. SCENE II. The Comedy of Errors. Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle Stutznoff and this is the guided tour for my eportfolio. This project was created for ETEC 590. The metaphor I selected for this project is a combination of my interest in the plays of William Shakespeare as well as the technological tools I've encountered during the two and a half year MET program. This website was designed on Wix and displays some of the artifacts used throughout these two and a half years. I'd like to show you how to access these artifacts. On my main page, there are three embedded videos. On the right-hand side, the tour. On the top left-hand corner is the EP rubric, a funny little video we shot for ETEC 590. You can access the rubric through the EP rubric button bar directly below. And below that, on the bottom left-hand corner, is Carol from Pays to Stage. This was a video I shot for ETEC 540, which I took at the same time as this presentation. Uh, you can access that information through the WTD or What the Dickens button. I'd also like to direct your attention now to the bottom bar and the Journey button. You should be directed to my journey page, however, there are a few bugs which I'm still working out on the Wix site. Changes will be made soon. Uh, if you do have any problems with the navigation of this website, please click the back button on your web browser's navigation bar. It should take you to the last page you were at, and hopefully you can hit another button that will take you to the place you want to go. On the journey page, you will see a map that leads from Vancouver, British Columbia to Meisei University near Tokyo, Japan. Um, on the top left-hand corner, I've included a little story about how I was inspired to create this map for my ePortfolio. Down below, you'll notice the buttons that will take you to each artifact in my journey. The first one I'm going to press is this application, the first step in my journey. This will direct you to one of the artifact pages, this being Web 3.0. You will be able to scroll down and read most of the documents that I've posted on this ePortfolio. Now on the left hand side is another button bar which features other artifacts these buttons will direct you to other pages I have. When you want to return to the main page so that you can access other icons, please press the map icon, which is on the bottom left hand side of this page. This will take you back to the main map and to the other artifacts which I've grouped together as Shakespeare's plays. I'm going to click on ETEC 522, which will take us to the Ventures in Educational Technology page. Once this page is loaded, you should have a scroll bar on the left-hand side of the screen. This tells you the story of how I came to take this course. On the right-hand side of the screen is a preview of the web page that you can visit. Here is the link. Unfortunately, it's not a hyperlink, but if you return to the scroll bar on the left hand side under David Crystal's picture, you should be able to click on the hyperlink here. This hyperlink will take you to the class page being previewed, like so. Please shut down the external pages to return to the, the portfolio. I'm now going to show you a different way 
to access my artifacts through age. Uh, these images are pictures of theorists and authors who have inspired me during my trip, and you can read about the story in the crew manifest on the left-hand side of the screen. Each icon will lead you to a page, and it should have a little story. If you click on it, you'll see a bigger image of that pickle. Uh, below on the right hand side of the picture you'll see the link button that will take you to the link. Uh, you can also look at other pictures by hitting the left or right hand arrows. Doing so will take you to other theorists in the crew. I'm going to click on the link for David Crystal to go back to the ETEC 522 webpage. Voila! Thank you for exploring my ePortfolio for ETEC 590, which I hope has lots of hidden treasures and explanations for my educational process in the Master of Educational Technology program at the University of British Columbia. Thank you.